uh, heading out of the servo. Just about to go and meet a group of people at another servo, but I filled up at the Ampol because it was easier. Um, from the, uh, the intro, you'd notice that ooh, there's something different down there. When you look, there's a, a different colour. It's not uh, it's not blue like on the intro. This one's uh, this one's red. So uh, welcome to uh, to the big red, as I call it, big red. Um, I've got myself a 2020 RT Limited Spider. Um, very nice bike, been absolutely beautifully looked after uh, by its previous owner. And uh, so I've picked it up, and this is going to be my my new ride. So, uh, something different. Um, so, meeting a group today, and we're going for a bit of a, a back ride, back roads ride, uh, and a late breakfast. Um, I took off this morning from home. Uh, I've done about 100 kilometres to get down to these guys. Um, it was a bit cool, um, but as I looked at the... Uh, the temp gauge, I realised that uh, I'm going to Canberra for for work uh, this week and it's not going to get warmer than what the, uh, the minimum was at one stage there, so uh, it's all relative being cold and being hot, relative to where you are. Alrighty, so let's, uh, let's move and groove down with these people. This RT is, uh, is really nice. It doesn't accelerate and, and uh, handle like the F3 that I had, the F3 Sport, uh, but it's certainly more comfy, goes nice, um, and it uh, certainly does its, uh, does its job as a, uh, as a touring machine, which I'm going to be doing a, a lot more of in, in the next uh, year or two, hopefully. But, uh, look at that, that's a small ride from one servo to the other. Uh, for our American friends, a servo is a uh, service station or a, a gas station, as you call them. Um, but uh, yeah, we're, uh, we're heading to meet up with a group. Probably going to have about 12 spiders today, so it should be a nice ride. Um, I might head towards the back of the group and, and get some uh, get some footage today because I know that uh, someone else is leading the ride, which uh, is always nice. Uh, and uh, yeah, should be able to get a bit of a nice day out. Looks like it's going to be okay. It was a bit cloudy and foggy on the way down, but hopefully by the time these guys all get together, it should be quite nice. I'm going to grab myself a coffee here, the little coffee shop that's inside in this, uh, in this place, and uh, I'm going to go from there. See you on the ride. got a bit of a mixed bag today we've got a Riker 22 RT 22 RT a 2020 big red that I'm on a few across the road there and a couple more down there a white one blue one black one two four eight ten bloody brilliant bloody brilliant so that's what I like to follow myself I'm following Incy again I like Incy Wincy, Mr. and Mrs. Smith. I love that orange one up in front of them too. That's a beautiful bike there with Chris. That's a 2019, I think it is. 2019 F3 Limited. Esther's on the uh, on the Riker. Bloody brute. Really good. reason my uh, machine just shouted at me. Get in. We're up and racing. I'm behind Mr. and Mrs. Smith. We're doing good. 
just got a bit of a gap there behind us. But uh, how beautiful on the road this thing. Just beautiful on the road. Bit cool when you get going eh? Alright. Get some more as we get countrified. on the highway here at Ipswich, a lovely line of spiders up the front there, one, two, three, the Riker four, five with the 2019, six with that one, seven with mine, eight with Rod behind me, nine and ten, I can see all of them, so we've got ten spiders on today, that's a good, that's a good crew, good crew. Looks great with all the spiders on the road. So while we're cruising along, it's probably a good time to talk about the difference just between the, uh, the, the spider I've just come off and the, the one that I'm now riding. Um, the F3 Sport, lovely bike, uh, but I've transferred over onto the RT because I'm going to be doing a lot more touring. Um, whilst the F3S, it just handles. It, it's just unreal. If you like to... Uh, you know, go for day rides and you like to, uh, a bike that handles really well, um, the F3S is, is unreal. Uh, for a three-wheeler, it's pretty damn good. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I just found that, having done a bit of touring of late, when I went to Tasmania on a three-week trip, got a few more big ones coming up. I just needed that extra bit of comfort and uh, um, a few of the luxuries that this thing has. Um, so this thing has... Uh, the windscreen which uh, goes up and down there so I can get a bit of breeze if I want it um, you know, see better on the foggy days those sorts of things so just got that got some heated grips not sure I'll use the heated seats but definitely the heated grips I'm using those this morning because I couldn't be bothered putting my winter gloves on got like a, a, a semi spring or autumn glove or fall for the Americans um, so just something something a little bit uh, more comfortable to ride and it doesn't handle as well um, it does handle pretty good but it doesn't handle anywhere near as well as the F3 and not as um, not as zippy off the mark there's a little bit more weight in it with the same engine but uh, still goes pretty good but uh, yeah just a little bit different so uh, that's the differences between the two as far as I see it apart from the storage and luggage and stuff that's the that's, uh, that's one of those things you either want or you don't. So, um, yeah, the storage is neither here nor there because I had a couple of bags on the other one. Bit of, bit of dead animal on the road this morning. Some nice cars out and about today. I've seen a, 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 an old Corvette. There was a little uh, MG over there and there's a couple of vintage cars earlier. So, yeah, it must be uh, winter Sunday, fine day, out you go, go for a ride or a drive, why not, we're doing it. Do you get some, get some spiders up there? It's magic when you get in a group of spiders, they just look so great on the road. <laughs> I'm laughing there at uh, I'm going to call her Mrs. Smith taking the photos on the uh, on the iPhone. It's uh, awesome stuff. Oh, there's a bit of a lag there when you change the, the gear there out a second. So um, yeah, I might uh, might talk to somebody about that. I know exactly the man to talk to. Okay, so we're uh, using the corner marker system today, and uh, so this is going to be a great example of the corner marker system. So we've got uh, the lead up there, so he's turning left, it's pointed, we've got the second one behind, they've uh, pulled over on the side, and uh, and then they go to the back, except for the, the tail end Charlie. Nice work, Hornie. Still got to ride your own bike, make sure there's nothing coming, and then away you go. So, yep, yeah, that's the corner marker. So, I'll show you a bit at the back later on when I get to the back eventually, because I'm sure we'll turn a few more corners. So, we're just coming up between uh, Talagella and uh, Rosewood, and um, came through here the other day on a ride, and it was just 
the greatest view of this just up here on the top so see out there towards the scenic rim all foggy down there and this side you see back towards the highway area it's just a beautiful bit of road beautiful ride I have to be the passenger <laughs> get to see more when you're the rider at the front you've got to concentrate on what you're doing but uh, yeah this is just great piece of road just a great piece of road that. just magic the view down there you can see the fog down the valley hopefully we uh actually we're probably going to go through that so that'll be interesting if we get a bit of that that'll be nice but it's just starting to lift now the sun's just starting to burn off that fog um so yeah it's down there in the in the valley it's just great <laughs> mrs smith there on a the phone i'm getting a bit of it <laughs> Nice work, Mrs. Smith. <laughs> That's Esther on her uh, little uh, machine. Beautiful. Oh, we're into the country roads now. This is good because I'm going to get a bit of footage of everyone today. So this will be good. So it's Mr. and Mrs. Smith here on NC. As you can see their number plate. I I N C Y. Bit of a blinder. I think we're okay here. I don't think we need to um, pull over. It's pretty obvious where we're going. So that's our ride captain up in front there, Jared, on the uh, 2019, I think it is, blue RT. He's got over a hundred thousand kilometres on it, I think. Oh, he's got a lot. It's a great, great machine. Um, and as ride captains go, there are none better than Jared. He is absolutely sensational. So here's my turn to uh, to be Mr. Corner Marker. Rightio, and Jared's pushed aside there. I'm gonna pull in here. Let everyone go past. Goes Rod. Magic Rod. Good work. Yep. Joseph, I just met. Craig. There goes Horny. And Chris. Esther. And Mr. and Mrs. Smith again. Oh, geez, I just about started a fire there. I could smell that. Maybe that's the house up there. But yeah, here we are. I'm second at the back. You can just see Denny there in the, uh, in the mirror, hopefully. Um, so yeah, we're all on. That's it working well, that corner marker. So that's how the corner marker system works, is that you've got your back marker. In our case, it's Denny on the black F3. She's really easy to spot, but she's got these bright red pants on. <laughs> and uh, it works really well. The person pulls over, you indicate the direction you're going, um, and then you just pull in front of the, the, uh, the tail end Charlie so that you know who the last one is. Um, so as long as everyone knows what's going on before you go, which is what Jared did, it works absolutely sensational. And I think I know which way he's going down here because he went this way once before and it is a, just a beautiful little ride. Just magic. red flashy light good we're going to catch a rod here rods on the corner this time all turning right so rod pulls off to the left because you always pull off to the left here in australia and uh rod's got there on the right nice work rodney must be car coming there is there it is chris riding his own bike love that bike it's a beautiful color esther on the pink machine mr and mrs and we're away So Rod drops in behind me as the uh, he comes to second last. So that's the way the tail in Charlie works. Beautiful system. Oh, great roads, there, Jared. This is magic out here. Just beautiful. Ooh, it's a bit chilly though. So 
this is uh, Grandchester. I don't think I've uh, come down this way for a, a ride on the spider for a, for a very, very, very long time. It's one of the towns that um, in the back area of, uh, of Ipswich. Beautiful little place. A great little pub just up the road, so um, if you're in this area, Grandchester Hotel, it's uh, pretty damn good. Okay, so today we're gonna this one we're gonna capture Craig on his uh, on his nice little white F3T here. That's a nice bike actually, he's done it up really well. Nice little bit of paintwork, well done Craig. Beautiful little bit of signalling from him. That's good. And we're on another bit of country road. Yeah, it's a bit sluggish there in second this thing, but um, eventually it gets going. It's big though, gosh big. I think the riding we're doing today, where the bit of the cornering, bit of country road I think that's where the F3S excels because it's just lighter and accelerates better but I think the ride down to meet the guys which I'm going to do a lot more of that you know 100k highway just brrr, an hour's ride on the highway um, I think that this is where that's where the RT really excels it's uh, it's an amazing piece of machinery for long mile munching and I'm, I'm going to do a lot of that so I think I've made the right decision it's got enough it's got enough grunt to keep up on these sorts of rides but you know it's not the same as that, that F3S that just jumps but it's um, it's got enough Ooh, didn't like that Capture Graham here. Let's make sure of my mirrors and whatever. There's Graham. Nice work, Graham. So you can feel those front tyres just really gripping on there. I, like people say, the Kenders don't grip. I tell you, I don't know what the heck they're doing if they're not getting grip with a Kender. They're, uh, they're obviously playing with fire. They're probably in the wet and giving it a squeeze, but like that tire on the back is not in the greatest condition. It's almost ready to replace, and that's hanging on pretty well around those corners. So yeah, they'll they'll do me. I don't I don't ride that hard that I need to go to something different. These these do the trick. corner. Oh, good, I missed Chris earlier, so here's Chris on his 2019. It's a beautiful colour, that orange. That is just beautiful. I think if I could have a, a colour to pick, I think the orange would be the colour for me. Look at that the GoPro goes into that sun. No ND filter on it today, because I knew it would be coming through trees, so let's see how that sun lights it up. Oh, just lost Rodney for a tick. There we got him. But uh, yeah, beautiful little back roads. Well done, Jared. Nice route. Uh, okay, so just pull it up. And, okay, we're pulling into the uh, the barn now and Scotty's garage. So great little spot. I'll pull in here so everyone knows. Straight in here. Get everyone coming in, including Denny. That would be great. There's Joseph. Missed Joseph earlier. Craig, nice work. Hey, you got a mountain thing there. Everyone through. Come on. Keep coming, Denny. Keep coming, Denny. Keep coming, Denny. Good work, Denny. Alrighty, we're all in. That's us. Magic. So we're into the barn. This is uh, this is amazing. This place, really, really nice place to um, come visit, have a coffee and a feed. Um, 
Yeah, really, really good. So I thought we had 12 bikes today, we've only got 11, so uh, I'm not sure who didn't front. But we um, had 10 on the ride, 11 with Andrew there. That's uh, yeah, pretty damn good. So we've got, uh, got all everyone getting in there. Pretty damn good, and Craig will reverse into that one. <laughs> nice work, Craig. Yeah, we still got the thing there. There's everyone coming. Hey, doggy! Yeah, Denny's taking the the shady bit. Well done, Denny. So we got Denny, got Andrew in there, Jared in the blue nice black one there everyone's in there everyone's parked up beautifully got all the red ones in that's me right there do a circle work so that is Scotty's garage in the barn woohoo <laughs> Zim zim. That's us. leaving Scotty's, going to go in two groups, the guys are going back to Brisbane, a couple go the way, so a couple of old cars over here, there goes Jared, yes, goes Denny, nice work from uh, Gary, Gary there, Gavin, uh, Graham, sorry, Graham Horn, yeah, Chris is with him, Esther's off, all those people are heading that way, beautiful, magic, away you go folks, that's that group, give them a bit of a break and away we'll go look at those spiders just magic 